Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Let's get in to the Adventure Quest news. Starting off, we do have a lot of TLPD news that will be later on in the episode near the end. First, we're going to go through the stuff that's going to come out tomorrow, and then we'll get into the Talk Like Pirate Day, which won't come out until around the middle of September. Like, September 19th is the holiday Talk Like a Pirate. It's not a holiday, but, you know, the Talk Like a Pirate Day, actual day on the calendar. Uh, that's on the 19th of September, so it won't be till mid-September, but we'll go through the stuff that will happen on Friday or tomorrow. So, we have a color custom Satyrian set. Looks pretty nice. It's a female version, and here's the male version. Uh, you can get it for ACs right now, or you can wait till next week. I think next week will be part two of the Lust Dragon event, and get a non-color custom version of this armor if you want it, but it'll be available for ACs in the shop tomorrow if you want the color custom version here are some items that will be in tomorrow's release a uh, male and female version of i th i don't know if that's the same armor male and female it might it looks like it's different hopefully it's different i wonder what the female version of that one looks like and uh, i wonder what the male version of that looks like that would be interested to see i uh, don't know if they no they didn't put it down there so we'll have to wait to see what the uh, different versions of that armor will look like this guy looks like kind of like Jon snow a little bit I don't know, the fifth Deadly Dragon is coming. I think this is one of the first posts that Elena made on the Lust Dragon. I think that's what it's called. Something like that, I don't know. Um, here's some more armor, some green stuff. I don't know if that's color custom or not. It would look good with color custom, but you know, it could be just green. Some more armor for the event tomorrow. And even more, it looks like we're getting quite a few different armors. I like this one, this one looks pretty good. And uh, hopefully that, I really hope that this is not the female version of this. It kind of looks like it is, though. That would be cool to have on a female character. But, you know, they probably won't do that because they always put dresses on female characters. Feels bad, man. So, moving on. Alright, so, some Talk Like a Pirate Day stuff. Okay, like I said earlier, Talk Like Pirate Day is not happening anytime soon. It's probably about a month away still. But, we're getting a lot of news on it. Krulong coming at us with a ducky navel, or I, debating on the pally navel. But she all been pranked. This is the actual thing. <laughs> I th I'm, I'm pretty sure he's joking. I mean, I would love to see this navel. And it looks like it's really good. I want it. I want this navel in the game, okay? Uh, it would be an awesome navel. It looks really nice. be cool for an event or something. In that hat. <laughs> uh, it's a, such a cool navel. It, I'm going to be really sad if it never appears in the game. Like, if you, you can't never get this, like... I'd just be sad if it never went in the game. It just looks so good. It should be in the game, please. All right, that's that's all for that. That I, that's not that might not even be in the game ever. I don't know. It looks good, but <sighs> well, here's something that will actually be in the game. So Elena made a post asking whether you like the dark or the lighter version of this navel more, and based on a tweet that Arnix made, and that's the Pally navel. Arnix or Aranix, probably always pronounced his name wrong. Sorry. Uh, really good art though. And it's going to be his birthday in September also, and we'll have more on that later in the episode. Some really sick items for his birthday, from what I can tell. Um, so, this looks like it's the finished version of the Paladin. Uh, looks like they went with like kind of a light with the dark. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of these colors, to be honest. When I thought of a Pally Nable, I thought we were going to go with like a gray, yellow, and red theme. And this one does have some red on it. But there's a distinct lack of red on the Paladin Naval. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, final versions with improvements, but which you, one you prefer. And it looks like the left one's winning. Or not, no, actually it looks like the right one's winning. The left one was winning earlier, but I vote for the left. I like the left one better, but uh, the right one's winning. It's got the red on it. I, I don't think the red should be there. It should probably be like incorporated into a bigger piece of the armor. That's just my opinion though. I mean, maybe red not isn't that big of a deal for some people, but there's the Paladin Naval. It looks like that's going to be one of the final versions of it i gotta say i'm not a big fan of it i just put it out there i think it looks good i'm gonna buy it but as far as like the uh the one that what's his name chick wings i think it's his twitter name i think it's frosted flurry on twitter at frosted flurry um the one he made what looked a thousand times better than this maybe just because it looked more fancy and had like brighter colors and stuff but this not a thousand times better, but it looked quite a bit better. I, I liked it a lot more, but, you know, this one still looks nice. 
got that classic naval look looks pretty good and uh yeah so this one is actually one i'm really excited about it's, i think they're calling it the obsidian naval uh, pally naval or the dark pally naval or something like that this is confirmed also be coming out so we're getting two different paladin navels uh something that will probably look like this like a version of this and something that looks like this so pretty good pretty good uh we don't really see the full thing like we don't see the bottom of the lakes but i'm sure it looks nice i love the color it's got red on it which it should have it's dark it's got the silver it looks really nice and uh that's definitely a naval i'm picking up it's probably gonna be my favorite one from the event if i'm being honest looks super good okay now uh someone asked elena if they would do a cc alpha pirate which is i think the original naval design is based off alpha pirate pretty sure i might be wrong but you know whatever uh that would make a lot of our long time players unhappy as people would be able to replicate their rare armor now yes I, I do get that for alpha pirate but i've never asked for a color custom like alpha pirate or like original naval i just want a simple color custom naval it's that hard and uh to add insult to my injury it's not an injury <laughs> uh but to but to even further push the point the fact that we should have a color custom naval is the fact that they're releasing a dragonborn naval commander now this is green and i uh posted a video on the dragon naval yesterday a little skyrim goof uh because it's dragonborn and if you ever played skyrim you're the main character in skyrim is called the dragonborn or dovahkiin um these hairs are not part of the naval these are color uh from hair shops in game like these are just default hairs not default but just hairs you can get on your character these aren't new or anything like that these are just hairs there's no helmets on these characters because the helmets weren't released or even uh yeah announced when they put this picture out so yeah um we can't have a color custom naval for alpha pirate but for some reason we can have a six seven different color variants for a dragon board naval why why seven different color like are you just trying to flood our inventories with different why not why not a single dragonborn naval that is color custom is that uh, uh, maybe yeah, uh, uh. that way we can have it any color you know i pay 5k c for it no problem i mean maybe some people would be upset if it was 5k because that's pretty expensive but i would pay it i mean release it i'll buy it please please okay moving on uh some helmets for the dragon naval now this is finished i don't think there's just uh suggestions uh like i said tlapd is still pretty far away about a month away so none of this this stuff could all change in the future i'm just showing you it right now so you know what to expect for talk like a pirate day and i did show this in the last uh, news video but i thought it was relevant here this is going to be the upgrade package if you buy any acs or anything in september you'll get this uh set with the sword very nice looking set and sword right there Probably one of the better uh, upgrade packages we had in a while, in my opinion, at least. Now, this, in my opinion, is super badass. Look at that. That just looks insane. And there's also a gold version now. And this will be for Arne Arnixes. It always sounds like Arctic when I say it. Probably because of my lisp or something. But Arnix's, uh birthday in September. I think it's his birthday. Uh, pretty sure that's the event for Arnix in September. Celestial Round V3. Uh, and the last little bit of news we have is for Celestial Round V3, and that is the Burning Blade V2. So, it, hopefully it has 15% damage boost on it. It looks kind of nice. It's got, like, that, uh, pointed edge. I don't know why they're doing swords like that now. Like, that seems kind of like a cleaver. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of weird, but the bottom part of it looks really intricate and really nice, but... So that's all the news we have for this week guys uh last piece of news is a little dragon a little dragon from envy which will be the next one after lust we'll have two parts of lust and then i think maybe a two-part envy series i'm not 100 percent sure on that uh but yeah that's about it if you didn't play the last week's event you can get the hat helmet i'm wearing right now i think it's non-mem so you can get that in the last week's event if you haven't got that already in a set of armor uh, i made a video on some capes you can get these things and uh oh they still haven't fixed it by the way uh if anyone from ae is watching uh they're still green on the red cape uh if, if that could be fixed that would be great uh i'm pretty sure it's unintentional if there's green on that it looks kind of awful compared to the green version of the cape where there's no red on the green version just saying okay so 
thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, maybe tell Elena that why why do we have seven different color versions when we can't have a color custom one? Feel spam man. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. All right, boys. As I'm rendering the as I'm rendering the video, sorry, I just read this. I'm a little I'm a little upset. <laughs> I just read the side note. So as I'm rendering the video to put up on YouTube, like it's in Sony Vegas rendering. Uh, well, I, I just canceled the render because I'm gonna include this in the editing now at the very end of the video as you're watching right now. They put up a design notes post. Oh boys. Okay, so here's what the blue version of the Dragonborn Naval Commander looks like now. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down here. In order to create the color variants, you'll need the. Dragonborn Naval Commander, which is 1.1 KAC, uh, which is the normal price of every naval that's ever been released. So that's okay. So you need the you need the original blue or green version, all right, whatever, yeah. And then you'll need color. I don't know what, why colors and quotations are there. Um, per Perdagon pet to to quest for and create a specific color variant, 900 AC. Pirate Raven Pet, to quest for and create all the color variants, 10,000 ACs. What? Yeah, I'm slightly interested, what, upgrade. Okay, um, so, Oh, that'd be forty dollars. Unless you got that, you get an extra two K with that for forty dollars. So minimum, your minimum spending forty dollars. That does not include the other naval you need. So it'll take all. So if you buy the twelve K AC package, okay. So I made a joke tweet yesterday, a f a fucking meme tweet. Let's go to my Twitter. I made this last night before I went to sleep. Because I saw all the navels and stuff. All the... So here we go. Don't think I'll have enough ACs for TLAP to D in the 500 navels that are coming out. Rip all the money. And I have 13k AC right now in game. Feels bad, man. Um. What? That is 10 with three zeros. Is that a typo? I mean, if that was three and three zeros, that'd be okay. But that, that's 10 and three zeros. I made a, oh my god, maybe Elena saw that and she's like, hmm, maybe, maybe Corey does need to spend all his ACs. I'm not buying that naval, fuck that. What? That's absurd. So if you bought 12k ACs, which is the most amount of ACs they sell at one time, you wouldn't even be able to buy all the navels. If you wanted every naval released this year, and you bought 12k ACs, you spent 40 US dollars on the game, you wouldn't be able to have them all. You could have just the dragon navel and the color variants, and that's it. Wow. Oh, that's... Wow. Okay. Um, that's... They're good. Okay. Um, I don't have words. I hope they change the price, make it more reasonable. Like 5k AC max because 5k ac is 20 dollars 20 dollars for some color variants that's a little pricey that is pricey 20 dollars but 40 dollars for color variants that's fucking nuts okay i'm just gonna say it. it's fu that's nuts all right well <laughs> they're color variants like the recolors let's not be they're not it's not like you're paying for a unique version like seven different unique versions you're paying for a different color that's why i said earlier in this video before i even knew that they were going to charge 40 dollars for color variants that there should just be a color custom version for maybe like 3k ac and if you want to buy the 1k ac if you're just fine with one color you can buy the one color version if you want a color custom version spend three or 4k or 5k up to 5k no more than 5k 20 dollars for a single armor in a video game you can only wear one armor at once in this video game, and $20 is the most, that's an absurd amount for any armor, and that's the most you should be able to pay for a single armor. That's nuts, and they should not be selling color, color variants for $40. That's my thoughts on that, guys. That is insane, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great day.
Let's please change the price of someone from A is watching. Bye, guys.